Show's over. Hey guys, what is going on? I'm Memorable. It's been a very long time since I've uploaded a video to this channel. For that reason, you know, I apologize. But really, I just lost passion for the videos that I was making before. Before, I was making videos for Skyrim, Skyrim mods, and I just got so burnt out on that game that I just couldn't do it anymore. And I was forcing myself to make videos just to get views, to get some revenue, and it just, it just ruined the whole experience for me. And if I'm going to make videos, it's going to be things that I want to make videos for. Fallout 4 just came out yesterday. And this is something that I want to make videos for. If I if I see good mods, I see good things that I can help people with, or just I enjoy, you know, making videos for and making content for, I'm going to do that. And you know, it just comes comes down to that. So that's a little bit of an intro. If you haven't seen my stuff before, then I guess uh, you probably well, why is this guy going on? Just t tell me the tell me the tweaks to make your PC game better. But well, we'll get onto that right now to make the PC PC version a little bit better on on release. So this is mainly three tweaks in your INI files that are going to make the game more enjoyable, more enjoyable for sure, and more more consistent overall. Because there's, there's no way to turn mouse acceleration off in the settings. There's no way to change your FOV in the settings, and there's no way to what is the last one? Is mouse acceleration, FOV, oh yeah, the other, the other problem is uh, mouse, with your mouse, the vertical aiming is double the, the, the speed of, or maybe half, but anyways, one of them is, is half the other. So you want to fix that to make it consistent overall, right? So you see here I'm playing around with the settings, FOV 200 actually works for third person, but uh, I mean in the console commands. But in first person, it doesn't actually save it, it just changes your view model settings, which is a little bit weird. You'll see here, I'll take out my gun. And watch. I take out my gun. This is FOV 85. Put my FOV to 150, and my FO my my view model changes completely. But my FOV doesn't change. As soon as I back out of the console, the FOV goes back to normal. So we want to change all these things and just make the base game as as good as we can. So let's go ahead and get into the files right now and do that. All right. So look, let's look at this really quickly here. We have to navigate to this folder. It's uh, whatever your game is installed on. Users, your name. Documents, my games, Fallout 4. And you want to come to this file right here, fallout4.ini. Now, for your mouse acceleration, you want to add B mouse acceleration equals zero. And you just want to add that to this section right here. There's actually not an option here in controls, but just go ahead and add B mouse acceleration zero. Save that for mouse acceleration. And also in Fallout 4 prefs, it should be another control section. See controls right here. We'll go ahead and add B mouse acceleration equals zero and save that. That's that for mouse acceleration. Now, for mouse aiming, since uh, vertical sensitivity is half as much as horizontal sensitivity, we're going to want to go to followed4.ini again. Same thing to the controls section. And we'll find mouse, F mouse heading X scale, which is right here. On the next line, make, make F mouse heading Y scale two times the amount. So we're gonna make this. This is this is. Uh, we're gonna make this 0 0.42. And save that. And that's that for that. That's complete. And then the last thing for quality of life, you're gonna open Fallout 4 again in the display section, which is right here. F default. Where is it? Right here. We have to add this line, it seems. So we'll add this for display. F default world FOV equals 90. And I actually want mine to be to be 85. I just prefer it, but but 90 is good for PC, definitely. Because like you saw in the other in the other portion of the video, like you add it, you do the FOV command in game, and it actually doesn't change your FOV. It just changes your view model, but it does change your FOV for third person, which is a little weird. And. Uh, also in Fallout 4 prefs, you want to do the same thing. Just add it to the top of this line here. F default. Just making sure there's not already a line in here. <clears throat> okay, we're good. F default world FOV equals 90. And same thing. All right, now let's save up and get back into the game, and I'll show you guys the difference. It's very slight, of course. And it's going to be much more on my end because it's very qu quality of life, you know, type of change. But yeah. Alright, so we're getting back into the game, and like I said, it's going to be very hard to see mouse acceleration changes on your end, really. It's going to be much more on my end, and, you know, FOV, same thing. 
it's going to hurt my eyes when I'm playing on a 65 or a 70 FOV in front of a computer monitor. But for your guys' eyes, I mean, you have to experience it yourself. If you're watching this video, of course, you're trying to, to, to fix it. So, yeah, like I, like, I mean, it's nice to be making a video. Like, I, I really do enjoy making videos. It's something that I really do enjoy. And, and uh, something that I'm, I'm looking forward to doing for Fallout 4, especially when mods start getting released and good mods start coming out on, on you know, just improving the game. And you, even even wacky mods, like I did a lot with Skyrim, I really enjoyed those things as well. I did I did enjoy doing those things, and I look forward to getting back into it. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this video. I recorded the, the actual in-game footage on a slightly lower res than I, than I meant to. I meant to re record it on 720, but then it put it on even a little bit lower than 720. But let me know how it looks when it ends up getting, you know, you know, fully fully complete fully processed and uh yeah let me know what you guys think and uh, like any feedback is appreciated like i said this has been my first this is this is the first time that i've sat down and made a video in a very long time and put any effort into it so i mean even though this video is very little effort but you know yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope it helped you out and let me know what you guys think like i said thanks for watching Shane, what have I told you about keeping the lake clean? Don't make me shut down this little stand of yours.